All right, hello everyone. A new day, a new video it seems. And as promised, today we'll do the G-Sync tests with the Samsung Neo G9 Odyssey. I um, got a computer here with an RTX 3070 inside and I'm currently in the process of setting it up and um, installing some games and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are again on the NVIDIA RTX 3070 um, computer. And uh, well, I've already experimented a little bit and um, I got the game I want to show to run. I will uh, first show Alex again because I also shown Alex with the AMD, with the other computer, with the RX 6900 XT. And so this is maybe best to compare, so you can just watch the other video uh, if you want to compare. Okay, I've uh, noticed a, a strange issue. If I activate GPU scaling here um, and scale to aspect ratio, then the, the, the game becomes uh, gets a strange washed out grayish shimmer. So... Um, I don't know. I read about a gray, gray uh, washed out problem on the Reddit forums with NVIDIA uh, G-Sync activated. And uh, at first I had no problems and then I had this gray washed out problem. But it came to, to me when I activated the scaling here. And now that I deactivated scaling again, the problem is is also gone. I don't know. We maybe have to uh, investigate this further. All right, then let me show you what we have set up here. We have set up G-Sync in full screen mode. I have already uh, made the, the, the overlay here so we can check. And additionally, there's also the fraps on the upper right corner for the um, FPS. All right, I'm sorry if this video gets a little longer, but I think the topic is important. I'm starting Alex now, and here it was. Um, this was uh, washed out, but it's it's good again now. The intro is long. I um, reduced the resolution in Alex to um, twenty-one to nine, three thousand four hundred forty times fourteen forty. But we can go up now again. I uh, no, no no let's just I don't want to want to apply anything let's just take it like it is and so I can at least show you how I think it works good let me activate the overlay so we can see what cheese ah here in um, currently we have 120 hertz I will go up to 240 hertz too of course all right, um, here you can clearly see that G-Sync is working fine. Right now we have 95 Hertz and 95 FPS. And I was surprised to see that, uh, that it goes down really well. It goes down to 50 Hertz. So I read somewhere that 60 Hertz is the, mini uh, the, 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 the minimum here for the G9, but no. It goes all the way down, like on the AMD video card, it goes down to 48 Hz, I think. We'll see. As soon as I increase the resolution, we will get less FPS and it will go down more. I will start Alex also on the other computer, so we can maybe make a, a real comparison between AMD and Nvidia. I have it installed now on both computers. Okay, let me now increase the resolution. Press X. And the local dimming is working, I hope you saw. So um, the, 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 the sides were dark. The sides were total dark, so local dimming is uh, is working. And also there's no flickering, right? I mean... I. And HDR is on too, of course. HDR is on too. This looks nice. Let me activate it. The overlay again. 
Ah, there it is. We are now down to 58 hertz. Let me catch this. Let me look at the sky. Come on, give me less, give me less. Th 53. I'm not sure we get down to 48 because I get more FPS. <laughs> but I think 48 is the lower limit. I think it's the same as on AMD. Would make sense to me that they just made it same. Well, let's maybe go outside here. Hmm. No clue where it would go lower. Maybe up to the sky. Nope. 55. 54. Uh oh, I'm weak, I think. Well, I can't reach 48. I think I have more FPS. Don't know what else I should do to. Uh, oh no, and I can't fight with mouse and keyboard. I don't have a controller right now. Um, well, let me just load one more save game here. This here is an area. And here you also see that HDR is on. Ah, can we get a little lower here? Fifty five again. Ah, this takes too long. Okay, uh, what else? Well, are we finished here? Let's increase to 240 hertz. I think I have to really go out and uh, make all the settings to make sure it works. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have uh, increased the, res the, 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 the frequency now to 240 hertz. Adaptive sync is on, HDR is on. I have not yet started Elix again, so I'll be as surprised as you what happens. Let's see, this is 240 hertz now. This is good. This was washed out before. This is, um, but this is this is okay now. This is not worse than on AMD in my opinion. But we can check. Hmm. Oh, what was what? What is this? Hmm. Maybe nothing serious. Works again. Oh, no, this is not right. This is not right. Hey, why do you want to kill me? Oh no, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure now. I think I just had a slight problem. And it doesn't look totally right now. Let me just check if the free sync, uh, the G sync works. Then I will investigate more. Ah, yeah. Now that's a, that's a strange effect, but maybe I understand it. I think it just doubles the hertz now. So we have 60 FPS, and you get 120 hertz. Hmm. Makes sense. This makes total sense when you, I. What I know about display technology also on CRT, this makes this makes sense. So double double the hertz frequency is also flicker free. That's uh, that's uh, that, that's like on CRTs. So this makes total sense. Does this now look good or does this now look not good? I think it's I think it's not so good. This is this is too dark. And now it's getting brighter. I will write back, I start the game again and, and check again, so the video is not too long. Okay, I think we, re we really had a problem. I went to Windows, restarted the game and this time nothing happened while loading. So still 240 hertz. Still everything like we had. We still get uh, double the hertz 
frequency than FPS and colors everything looks normal and great again. No flickering I think but at least not in Elex here. I also have bought um, Metro Exodus from GOG just uh, a, few, a few hours ago and I think this is more even more HDR what was that let's go into something dark and see how it's really dark inside the buildings so but when you are in it's fine but outside it's really dark but this can also be um, as intended maybe maybe it's intended to be that way Yeah, and the, the, the sync range is really double. It's really double. I don't know how, how low it goes, so I can't test it right now because my FPS are too high. Alright, uh, let's quit the game here. Let's um, switch to the other computer. Well, this is connected with HDMI now, and it doesn't work. Come on. Alright, I'll be right back. I have to fight with this. <gasps> of course, as soon as I quit the video, it works. Alright, we are back in Windows 11 on the other computer, and starting Edex real quick. Uh, settings are HDR is on. We are on HDMI. Variable sync is working. And here we even have sound. We have the same save games. Uh, I need to increase resolution quick. Uh, this is it. Um, I see the camera, it's a bluish, it's bluish, but that's not on the screen. So, okay, now. Now we can compare. This is, um, this is the same, this is good, this is good. We have regular sync here. We have slightly more FPS than on the other computer because this is one is a little bit faster. Well, it's HDMI now, so maybe that's a bit different, of course. There's the same dark building, I think, that we were just in. Yeah, but the the dark is a little bluish. I don't know. Yeah, I think you see it on the camera too. But maybe that's just an adjustment. Generally, I don't know if you saw my last video, but the um, the HDMI, wow. even the dimming, is a bit brighter than the the dimming with the display part. Um. A user suggested I use black level, but it's grayed out here. Brightness is already only 20, so this is not a problem. Everything is set up as it should be. Well, I mean, it's not really bad. It's good, but display part is darker. Display part is darker. Alright, I think this video is long enough now. I'm gonna upload this 
And for Metro Exodus, I'm gonna make a new one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.